gonna mug me. I'm not gonna mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Peace and Marathon. Download Veely now. Can't you make up any of your own decisions by yourself? Chris and Karen's wedding should be a multiplayer game, but he's all thumbs and she's pretty bummed. Physically planning everything. Can Jane fine tune the resolution before there's a revolution? It's not a game, it's real. Or will she get caught in the crossfire? I, I need help, but you have to come. I need to sit my ass down and take a break. I've been working all day. I don't know what you've been doing. Take your own ass in one of these locations on your own. With only 10 days to Karen and Chris's wedding, the gloves are off. Sometimes Chris has this sudden anger built up, and then he just go down to the basement and start punching the bags. It's like a child at times. Ah, so why the temper tantrum? The wedding, really, it doesn't mean too much for me. I'm doing it because it's what she wants. Ooh, sorry I asked. I didn't want the headache of making the decisions for the wedding planning. Uh, I knew that most of it was going to be what she wanted anyways. I'm physically planning everything it has been hard. Our actual only common ground would probably be gaming. How romantic. Our favorite activity will be playing Final Fantasy. We play roughly four hours a day. Sundays, we usually sit in front of the screen all day. Oh, boy. Well, talk about making our fantasy a reality. So we'll incorporate that into the wedding and make sure we put as much as the game element um, as possible. But with only one person doing it, that may take some effort. My biggest fear for the wedding will be <laughs> it's not going to turn out the way I want it. This makes me a headache every time I talk about it. Well, lucky for you, Jane Deus Hinch is here to heal your pain. And she's got three wishes in her arsenal to get this wedding back online again. Nice to meet you both. What a fabulous location. Yes. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. you so how long home. have you been together? We first met about okay. seven years ago. OK. Well, online. Well, we're both gamers. We played this game called Final Fantasy XI. It's an online game, and that's how we met. We didn't know what each other I looked like. An online game? Not in real life, but online. <laughs> Fascinating. Where do they live? In some sort of fantasy world, I think. Fantasy? Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. What she wanted was to marry a... Uh, uh, nice shiny armor. And so I've been busily looking for a suit of armor. So make it uniquely ours. Something different. A real... Are you serious? Knight in shiny armor? Yeah, it's, uh, this is our theme. It's fantasy princess in the knight in shiny armor. I don't know if I fit that bill, but I'm yes, going you do. to try. <laughs> of course you do. See, if that's what he wants to do, who am I to say you can't do it? But Jane soon discovers that Karen's knight in shining armor needs a little spit and polish. I don't really have a, a vision of the wedding, so I haven't been too helpful for the planning part. Because I don't want to give her an idea that she's not going to like what I suggest, and no one listens. It's your wedding day. He just doesn't want to take the blame if anything goes wrong. Is that what it is? Yeah. Chris? Huh. He'd rather go and slay dragons in a video game than do anything for this wedding. So that, that gives me an area for concern. You might be a bit more involved. It's not a game. It's not a virtual world. It's real. I've got to give him a jolt into the world of weddings. So Jane powers up and delivers a shock. Wow. It was a bit of a stunned silence, the reaction to the board. <laughs> the board is big. <laughs> a lot of things on it. One thing I want to do with this wedding day is bring some special moments in there. There's a lot of fantasy, a lot of all of this, a lot of show. Can you get married in this game? Yes. yes. Oh, my. Focus, Jane. My focus is on one word. What's it all about? Out of 100 people, how many people speak in English? Maybe 10. OK. 90% of people are Chinese. Are we having a translation? Wasn't part of the plan. People should understand everything about the ceremony and what's happening and what the vows are and what they mean. You want emotion at your wedding? Chris, you want to bring the house down? 
You want to breathe? Just do a couple of sentences in Chinese. Yeah, that, that would definitely bring the house down. Karen, this is a lot for you to do. And Chris? Are we going to be a bit more involved? Yes. In making this day happen? I'm not really doing it as much as I should be, and I do need to contribute a bit more. It's your day as well? Yes. But the one thing I can do to help you both... <gasps> as you know... Oh, my two wishes. I'll tell you what, you can have two. Yay, I get two and you get one. Well, you've got a lot more to do. OK, we made a joint decision on one of them. Have you? Yeah. What's that, then? Uh, that's the suit of armor. Find a suit of armor that Chris actually likes. Ah, noble quest, Lady Jane. That was... Oh. <laughs> OK. Shopping for suits of armor? I've never, ever done that. So with nine days to go, what better way to start her quest than to do some recon on this Final Fantasy game? I think I'd better go and find out more about this. Yeah, sorry, Jane, this ain't Pong. So, as a wedding planner, where does one start with all of this? And with Chris, where does it end? Hey, isn't there a wedding you're supposed to be planning or something? I think I would like lots of roses, so when people walk in, and they would just have the wow factor. Do whatever you want. <laughs> you are part of it. Is he now? Karen drives me crazy. Our original agreement about the wedding between the two of us was I would be left alone from the wedding details. And now he's driving himself crazy. I am driving her around all the time because basically because she is scared to drive. Why can't you take yourself to these places on your own? If I can change one thing for Chris, I would make him help me out. How do you plan to schedule all of this in for today? OK, it will work. Trust me, it will work for today. So much for her knight in shining armor. Right. Let's hope Jane has better luck. After her crash course in gaming, Jane now begins her search for the missing suit. I've come to see this suit of armor that you've got. Oh, wow. I'm not sure. Is it all right if I try it on? Definitely. I'm picturing more... You know, your knight in shining armor is always going to be shiny. I have never not delivered on a wish. No, it's not doing it for me. I didn't know there were so many types of... Sorry, Jane, what was that? So Jane's quest continues deeper into Metal Earth. This is 95. Hope this dude has what she seeks. So what do you seek, English Sprite? I need a full suit of armor for a bridegroom who's getting married this week, so he wants to look like a knight in shining armor. OK, well, I have the armor. I'm not so certain about the shiny bit, though. Oh. OK. Can I try one on? See what oh, it feels yeah, like? Sure. I hope you're going to be ready for it. It weighs about 40 pounds. And it doesn't include the legs. Ah, come on. Nothing's too heavy metal for Jane. Let's see what it feels like. Now, can you imagine running around on a battlefield like this? No. I can't even imagine walking down an aisle in this. Yeah, it's not like Chris is hitting the gym anytime soon. This is fabulous, but for the wedding, I don't think it's what... Maybe this isn't going to do your, f f no. your needs. Oh, looks like Jane's losing her luster. If I don't find this suit of armor, it's going to be the death of me. And with six days to go, Karen and Chris's game has now gone totally medieval. Um, there's that favorite place I need you to take me to. Take yourself. I need help, but you have to come. I need to sit my ass down and take a break. I've been working all day. I don't know what you've been doing, but I'm tired. We have to go, bottom line. Then I'll tell you what. I'll hand you the keys. You can take your own ass there. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to reason with you, and this is what you do. I'm getting tired of going all these places with you. Take your own ass in one of these locations on your own. I'm calling Jane. Well, Karen's had enough of this game. <sighs> yep, this Get out of my way. 
fine. Go find your best. Hello? Hi, Jane. Um, this is Karen. I have decided for the second wish. For us, is marriage counseling. Marriage counseling? He doesn't open up very often, so I think it would be a good way for me to know him a bit more. But if Jane learned anything from the video game, is that if you want to win, sometimes you've got to bring in another player. Every hero's journey begins with a refusal of the call. But I know someone who can get Chris and Karen together and play nice. So with just five days to go, Jane and her quarreling companions return to the place where their quarreling began and where Jane's spirit guide plans to heal them. This is Onyx, mm -hmm. who is an expressive arts therapist. And I'm going to leave you in her very capable hands. I don't know what I'm hoping to get out of this right now. I just wanted to get over with. Whether we'll get a lot out of Chris tonight, I don't know. Well, if anything's going to work on this guy, it's a little role playing. Hey, nice duds. And I'm going to begin the story. There is a land far away in a time not so long ago where a prince and princess live. Ooh, metaphor, cool. This would seem to be a happy arrangement. But alas, the tower has fallen under a spell that is causing disharmony. The prince can be seen pacing the tower with an anger brewing within. There's a lot of things happening in the past with his family and how he grew up. He doesn't talk about that too much, but that does bother him. The princess is worried. She goes about wearing a beautiful smile that she hopes will stop the prince's anger. But inside, she is beginning to feel like the stony tower cracked with anxiety. The kingdom's royal physician believes that it is a deep spell the prince and princess have fallen into. So here is a map, and I wish you well on your way. Go to the pool, look into its depth to see yourself reflected in its waters. See the prince and princess in the pool, and then to look further, deeper, into the shadows of the water, to see the shadow prince and the shadow princess. I'm wondering, Shadow Prince, what is it that consistently bothers the prince about how the princess treats him? She doesn't rely on the prince as much as she should be. Seeker Princess. I really want us to be happy all the time, and I try to accomplish that, but sometimes that kind of bike fires. What does the Shadow Prince and what does the Shadow Princess want acknowledged? I think the desire for the Shadow Princess we've been putting it would be to have me let go of past anger and feelings. So what is it about letting go that the Prince doesn't trust? It takes away a part of what the Prince has been for his life. The best way of staying in control is to sometimes let it go. I'm glad we went through it, and I think it's definitely going to help us in the future. I think she now knows a little bit more about what goes on in my mind. If she feels that she would like to learn more, then I can, I'll, I'll definitely give it a shot for Karen. So Chris is well on his way to becoming her knight in shining, oh wait, the armor. The next day, with three days to go, Jane takes a final stab at that annoying suit. No, I need it really shiny, like new armor. Lightweight armor. J just one second. I I've, I've got someone on the other line. Just one moment. Aw, uh, can a planner work in peace? Hello. Hi, Jane. Uh, it's me, Chris. Hello, Chris. I would like to make the third wish for uh, our wedding. I, I would like to uh, uh, do something special for Karen. Uh, 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 just a special night out. Well, romantic ideas are my speciality. Can you give me some ideas as to what you're thinking, what she'd like? She has been uh, fantasizing over kissing under shooting stars. If you want to leave it with me, that's, that's fine. I'll see what I can dream up on this one. Two wishes still to do. Don't you mean pray, Jane? Well, there is an upside. It looks like Onyx's spell worked its magic on Chris. These last uh, couple days, I've started picking up, and we've got we've seen a lot more getting done ever since I started getting more involved. He takes care of me, and that's what I love about him. Oh, you wait, Karen. What Jane's planning for your special night will blow your mind. But when it comes to getting that 
suit. No, I need shining armor, not rusty armor. No, I need it to be authentic. You know, a knight in shining armor. Uh-oh, is it game over for Jane? Don't you love those weird menu guys? <laughs> the answer to my prayers. Hello, Mr. Knight. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I yeah, love what you're wearing. Yeah. It's very shiny. I, I polished it myself. Do you think I could borrow this for a day? If you get it off me. If I can get it off you? Yeah. That's the first time for everything. Well, you might need some lubricant. What a relief. So she's got the armor. Now how about Karen's special night? Chris just called me and said, I need to get ready and they're gonna pick me up. Actually, at this point, I'm not sure what is on his sleeve. Oh, Karen, you're gonna have a blast. Surprise, surprise. Yes. Your carriage awaits. Thank you. You have no idea, do you? She has no idea, does she? Karen's finding out that with Chris, no work and all play makes this groom a grumpy little boy. I'm getting tired of going all these places with you. Jane's logged on with three wedding wishes to help inspire some desire. For wish one, she went above the call of duty for her man of steel. Do you think I could borrow this for a day? For wish two, she helped Chris let down his guard. I think it's definitely going to help us in the future. For wish three, Jane conjured up a surprise for his fairy tale bride. She has no idea, does she? And now, on the night before the wedding, Jane hopes that this mystery date will ignite some passion for the couple. Look, a picnic. A picnic under the stars. Oh, How romantic. romantic. You mean just plain old stars? She has been uh, fantasizing over kissing under shooting stars. Well, Jane better have a magic trick up her sleeve. Either that or some friends with pyrotechnics. We should be getting one soon. Uh-oh. There you go. Did you plan this so far? Maybe. So you got the shooting stars. Now where's that kiss? Oh, sizzling. The most romantic thing he has ever, or well, anyone has ever done for me. Oh, Vera, I'm speechless. Still. <laughs> Karen was blown away, literally, with the fireworks and the picnic and everything else. You want wishes to come true? This was a fabulous wish. Thank you, baby. Mm. It's the day of Chris and Karen's final fantasy, and the castle is bustling. But Chris is having less anticipation and more perspiration over the arrival of his suit of armor. Ah, there she is! A suit of armor. Excellent. Finally. Right, let's get you into it. OK. So suit up, Chris. Your bride is waiting. Breastplate. Check. Boots. Check. Leg greaves. Check. Medieval underpants. Uh-oh. Chris's dad has forgotten the black undergarments and the cape to wear underneath the suit of armor. Now he's in a panic and he's had to go back to his hotel room to go and fetch them. The traffic, the way it is, he'll be lucky to make it. But Jane continues with her preparations until the next crisis. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And there's the boutonnieres. Even better. Thank you so much. Um, I have an emergency. Please stop. I was just eating a strawberry and my chest actually a little bit dirty. Put put your bouquet, okay, look. Perfect. Problem <laughs> solved. So Karen's crisis is averted, but thankfully she's unaware of Chris's underlying problem. Six minutes to the ceremony. I've got guests arriving. I've got no father. Lovely. With just minutes to spare, Chris's dad returns to save the day. The eyes say it all. Yeah. Ow.
You look gorgeous, my dear. So don't worry about your dress. Karen, you and I have shared many adventures together. From slaying dragons to helping a stranded motorist. I've always been there, standing between you and Harm. While you were always there to support me and be at my side, I promise to continue to protect you from all harm. May we share many more adventures, as they say, happily ever after. Christopher, I thank you for always being by my side, being my knight in shining armor. Today, I take you to be my husband. You are my final fantasy. And there's nothing Chris wouldn't do for you, Karen. Chris, I'm so happy. It is a delight for me to pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal your marriage in a kiss. The ceremony was actually quite fairy tale, with a knight in shining armor. She looks stunning. I felt quite choked um, that it had all come together. It was a long, hard battle, but Jane did it. Karen, you are truly the fairy tale princess, and you are a knight in shining armor. Thank you so much. Thank My you. pleasure. We couldn't do it without Jane today. Jane has been great the yeah. entire time that we've had her. Well, this suit of armor is, is awesome and... <laughs> Everything is just perfect. When princesses say to me they want a fairy tale wedding, that was it. And hey kids, are you game for this? If I could wave the magic wand and grant you that wish to get married in the game... <laughs> oh. <laughs> would that be... The icing on the cake? <laughs> yes, I would.